Hi, I'm Patty Carpenter. I'm the principal of Carpenter & Company. I'm a Global Trend Ambassador for Maison Objet, and I'm here today at the home of Everick and Lisa Brown. It's a stunning home, and we're here with Barbara Barron today of Classic Rug Collection, really talking with her about her rug collection and her floor cloths. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Patty. Well, what I really wanted to get to was sort of, this is, I think, just over 20 years for you in business right now, right? 22. Oh, I'm my starting gosh. Starting my 22nd year. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. So you want to talk to us about sort of how that happened? Yes. Well, first, I, I took a little detour. Okay. Um, I got my doctorate in Shakespeare at Columbia. <laughs> As one does to become a carpet and rug designer. <laughs> it, it's great for the research skills. Oh, that really. makes perfect sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. And just as I was finishing, unfortunately, my advisor passed away. Oh. And you always need somebody to make a little push to help you get into the academic field. Okay. So um, without him, for a while, I sold furniture for Sunner Hauserman okay. and for Noel. Okay. And then I started teaching at the New York School of Interior Design. So how did the furniture and the interior design come about <laughs> after studying Shakespeare? <laughs> um, my older sister's an interior designer. Uh. My father had a furniture and carpet store. Okay. My uncle had two furniture and carpet stores. God. So we spent our Sundays driving around the Pittsburgh area looking at model homes and going to furniture stores. Oh, that's amazing. I did a similar thing with my family in the Washington, D.C. and Maryland area. We didn't go to the furniture stores, but we definitely looked at the model homes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dad, my dad was a graphic designer. My mom considered herself a, an amateur designer in terms of interiors, so we were always looking at how things were put together. And for me, color, that's probably where my love of color came. Exactly. This is why we're friends. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Although I'm in black today. So, um... After I was at the New York School for about oh, 11 years or so, um, I decided that I wanted to start my own business. And I grew up in the country in Washington, PA, okay. and there were a lot of farmers there, and the women always had their quilt racks set up. Yes. So I grew up around quilts, uh, I and love I love them. Yeah. So I was kind of trying to figure out what sort of product I wanted to do, and my mother and I went to the Gamble Mansion. Oh, where's in, that? It's in Ellington, Florida. Okay. And there was a room with a room-sized floor cloth. Uh -huh. but it was brown oh, with goodness. no pattern. <laughs> yes. And I thought, this is fabulous, but it looked so practical. It looked like a great idea. Mm -hmm. So um, I did some research on floor cloths <laughs> to find out how to make them. Yes. And then I started constructing my own okay. out of canvas and right. stenciling them and then polyurethaning them. Okay. And my first sale was actually to Laura Ashley. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, they had me do a custom piece based on one of their wallpapers. Oh, which was so beautiful. Oh, Were they, was it a floral? It was seashell. Oh my gosh, and yeah. very soft. It had corals mm. and aquas, just the kind of colors I wanted. Yes, want. yes <laughs> exactly. So much better than brown. Oh, <laughs> and then um, I, I sold my work to the Whitney store next door, oh. and I was in a jury show at the Smithsonian, and um, Old Sturbridge Village carried my work. But people really didn't understand floor cloths yeah okay. um they they didn't understand them and if the stores put them on the floor and people walked on them then nobody wanted to buy that one uh, and if they put it on the wall instead of on the floor then people didn't, didn't understand, understand what they the were mm -hmm. so then finally a light went off and i said <laughs> i know quilt patterned area rugs. Mm -hmm. So I started with my own American designs, okay. American quilts. Okay. And then after I was in business for just a short while, the G's Bend Quilters had their show at the Whitney. I love the G's Bend Quilts. I've actually worked with some of those women on a project several years ago where we actually uh, took some of their patterns and turned them into accessories for home. And so this uh, is fabulous. You know, it's working with those women has been the high point of my career yeah. because they're just 
such fine artists yeah. and they're just such lovely people uh, and uh, my sister and I went to G's Bend it's a town that has about 700 people yeah everyone is African American yeah you can't buy instant coffee there. <laughs> exactly there's yeah. very little you can buy there we were with them sitting on their front porches when we were there <laughs> and we stayed at the quilters homes uh, and we slept under their quilts uh, and I still work with the quilters. I still do rugs. Oh my gosh, how many years has it been now? It has been, I guess, about 16 or 17 years. Oh, wonderful. And of course, I paid them a royalty. Yes, And so, which so many people didn't coming out of that original group of museum things, which was heartbreaking to me. So I loved that story when you and I discussed yes. that, you know, that this is how you continue to work with them. It's Absolutely. fabulous. Yeah. Because people have to live. Yes. So now after all these years, mm -hmm. um, with the pandemic and people spending so much time at home, it seemed to me that it really is the time for floor cloth. Absolutely. It makes perfect sense. And when you describe to me the various uh, attributes, which I want you to talk about, I think that, you know, sort of like, duh, <laughs> why didn't we do this earlier? <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, they're so easy to clean. Mm. You can use a damp cloth mm. and you can just wipe them softly. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a little stain, you mm. can use hand soap. Oh, wow. And you just rub and then you can spray it with disinfectant. Which is amazing. And at this day and time, you know, when everyone's concerned about safety and protectedness, yes. this is the kind of thing that really sort of dovetails very nicely with that trend, but brings all this wonderful color and art. And yeah, which I love the idea of art on the floor. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's also so safe for children. Oh, which is Because big. my floor cloths are made in the United States. Which is wonderful. Yes. Really wonderful. And especially that also ties very nicely into this whole uh, trend of people really wanting to do things to support local and to really sort of uplift those, those around them. And I think that's great. And it also means that I know how they're made. Yes. There's nothing dangerous in there. There's nothing that's going to off gas. Yes. So this is a product that you can put your babies on Which and feel good. comfortable. Yeah. It's the same as my rugs. Yeah. My rugs are all natural fibers, yes. all natural dyes, because I just think that home should be not only beautiful, but safe. Absolutely, and that's so important right now. So this is great, and we've really talked a great deal about all the kinds of things that you can do with them. So let's take a walk around the house and look at where you've placed them in this gorgeous home. Great. Let's go into the kitchen okay. and you'll see two of my Frank Lloyd Wright pieces. Some of the ones I love the most, the colors there are just stunning. Can't Thank wait. You. <laughs> Thanks. So here we are in the kitchen and we're looking at these incredible claws that you've done with the inspiration of the artwork of Frank Lloyd Wright. I love the way that the colors coordinate here. Do you want to talk a bit about that? Yes. Um, the Frank Lloyd Wright people allowed me to choose my own colors. They didn't just want me to reproduce what Wright had done. And I love the boldness of the floor cloths. They're also so practical. The cushioning on the back of the floor cloth makes standing at the sink so much more comfortable. And the Schwartz cloth, based on some Usonian panels, is a great solution for what to do with that pet bowl. So here we are in the library, and we're looking at two beautiful pieces that you've done that were inspired by the artwork of Charlie Harper. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. I love these pieces because of their sense of whimsy. And I think that these floor cloths show how you can brighten up a room and you can create something beautiful at a very reasonable price. And other things that you really don't have to worry when you sit here and enjoy yourself. You spill red wine, just mop it up. Well, that's fabulous. So you get all of this beautiful color, this pattern, this print, but you also get the whole idea of being able to take care of it easily. Absolutely. So here we are now in the daughter's room and you've got two beautiful floor cloths with the art uh, that was inspired by Dolof Ipkar. And as I understand it, she was the very first and the youngest person to have a solo show at MoMA. She was the first female. The first female. And how did you come to be with her? Uh, her son lives down the street from me. Oh, that's fabulous. And I'm so fortunate because I got to work with Dolof while she was still with us. She passed away a few years ago. Okay. These pieces are from her 
her book The Cat at Night and the whimsicality and the use of color are just amazing. The floor cloths are great for children because they warm up a floor, they protect your wooden floors yeah. and if someone decides to use a crayon on them <laughs> you can just wipe away the mess. So here we are in the entry hall of this wonderful home and I'm looking at these two gorgeous floor cloths that you've done with the inspiration of Lewis Comfort Tiffany. This beautiful wisteria pattern is just stunning and enlivens the space, but it also seems like it'd be great on a rainy day. Absolutely, because the surface is non-slip, so you don't have to worry. And that's what makes floor cloths so great for mud rooms. So here we are in the master bedroom, and I love the fact that this one really enlivens that area and the little, the little nook, if you will, in front of the wood-burning fireplace. Do you want to tell us about Grandmother? Yes, this is a design by Robert Venturi and Denise Scott Brown that was first on a Chippendale chair that they did for Noel. It's very Memphis. And it's very spring-like. It's summer now. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. Floor cloths are so reasonable that you can change them out with the season. So thank you so much, Barbara, for taking us on this inspired and innovative tour around this gorgeous home, looking at these amazing floor cloths. Thanks for coming, Patty. It was a pleasure working with you today and showing you my pieces. And I want to thank Everett and Lisa Brown for letting us use their wonderful home, oh. just filled with beautiful objects. And I also want to thank people for watching today. If you have questions, please feel free to give me a call. I'd be very happy to hear from you. Thank you.